Hello everyone, my name is Ivan and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up shuttle control to send MIDI CC messages straight to it and to your modular from Ableton or from hardware sequencers like the Octatrack for example. So first of all to make shuttle control work we have to set it up and create a preset using the cargo flow editor and let's head straight to it. So first of all for this purpose we will set up 4 CC messages here, CC 20, 21, 22 and 23. And we'll also have two outputs set up to output pitch information and trigger. This way we can sequence one voice and at the same time automate it using MIDI CC messages. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's set this to channel 11. For the CC messages, you have four options, stepped and smoothed, unipolar and bipolar. The reason why you might want to choose the smoothed version is if you're sending an LFO from Ableton, it will be kind of steppy, so that way shuttle control can take care of that and make it sound more analog-like. Let's set the first output to be CC20. The reason for that is we have quite a few CC messages and as you can see some of them are already reserved and this is done so that if you plug a MIDI keyboard and you have a pitch wheel or you have a mod wheel or you have aftertouch, you don't really have to do anything, you just kind of go through the menu and select the one you want and it will work straight out of the box. So, the first one is going to be CC20, second one exactly the same, channel 11, CC step unipolar, CC21, then CC22, CC23. So this means that these four outputs, the first four ones, are going to be our MIDI CC automation outputs. CV9, we're going to set to channel 11 as well, to pitch one whole per octave, and this is going to be just one voice. And CV output 10 is going to be set to channel 11, trigger unipolar, or you can also select the gate if you want. And this is also going to be voice 1. So let's try this preset. Everything is working. So now let's get straight to Ableton. In here I have a MIDI track and if you haven't seen our previous video where I explained how to set up shuttle control with Ableton and to make sure everything is being detected, please go and watch that first so that you can understand what we're doing now. So I have an external instrument sending MIDI data to shuttle control and to channel 11. For the MIDI sequence, I have a simple arpeggio-like progression going on, so let's hear this. So the sequence already sounds quite nice, but let's try to give it a bit more life with the MIDI CC automations. In order to control MIDI CC from Ableton, we first have to go to our MIDI clip, and then at the bottom left corner we press this button, and this section appears where you can select MIDI control, and then, as you can remember, we've set it up to CC 20, 21, 22, and 23. In this patch, everything is fairly simple. I have one pitch going and sequencing the first oscillator, and the second oscillator is being synced to that, so that if we modulate the second oscillator, we'll get all kinds of interesting harmonics going on. Each oscillator is going into the grand terminal filter 1 and filter 2, so we technically have two oscillators happening, but the melodic part is only going to be done by the first one, and the second one is just for the purpose of effects and extra harmonics. So, the first output, as you can see, is going into the pitch of the second oscillator, and since it's being synced, we can add interesting harmonics, and let me show you that. So, we select CC20, as that was the first one, then the shortcut on Ableton, press the button B, and we get a pencil, this way we can easily draw our automation lines. So, let's start the sequence. Start. 
Second CC message is going to be controlling the filter cutoff, it's going to be acting as an offset control. And in here we have it patched via the gateway, this way we can mix the envelope from the ground terminal and also the MIDI CC automation, and this way our envelope will never reach the same value twice, right? So let's try that. Start the sequence. So our third CC message we are going to be sending into the force control or the mood control. This way we can make the full use out of the complex oscillator and introduce even more extra harmonics. So let's hear that. <laughs> So now let's switch to the hardware sequencer and I'll show you that everything works the exact same way as it does with Ableton as long as you set it to the exact same MIDI channel. So first of all in the Octatrack you press the MIDI button, you set up your channel to be on channel 11 and now go to control page, function control and as you can see our CC messages are exactly the same as it was in Ableton, the CC 20, 21, 22 and 23. This way if I tweak these values Let's go back. It will also, as you can see, on the shuttle control, everything changes as well. So you see one, two, and three, we can't hear it. Let's try to first create a sequence and then I'll show you how to do a parameter log media automation. So the sequencer is already running. Let's try to input some notes. Now press record.
So as you can see, MIDI CC automation is very simple and very rewarding in the end. Everything is super easy. You can tweak on the fly. Everything gets recorded. Same way in Ableton. This way you can make loads of different clips, loads of different variations for your live sets. Also, if you're using a shuttle system for live performance, and for example, you want to automate specific drop sections and so on, you can draw all those automations. And you know, sometimes you don't really have a third hand. You only have two and you cannot really control everything at the same time. So this feature really comes handy and is definitely one of my favorite ones. I hope everyone understands everything. And if you have any more questions, let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.